Hi friends, hope you are fine. In this video, let us understand how to identify mitotic stages under the microscope and how to calculate mitotic index. So we have onion root tip under the microscope. So this is a microscopic view. We can see the cells. Let's begin with easy ones. The easiest stage to identify is the metaphase. For easy understanding, remember M stands for middle. Now look at the cells that have chromosomes or chromosomal strands lined up in the middle or center of the cell. So here you can see that chromosomes are aligned at the center. This is called the metaphase plate. So here it is one. Then here also, here chromosome strands. Here it is very clear chromosomes are aligned at the center forming a clear metaphase plate. So the total number of cells in metaphase is 2. Now let us find out the next easy stage that is the anaphase. Just remember A for away from center. Now find out cells with chromosomal strands moving towards the poles of the cell. So here you can see in this cell the chromosomes are moving towards the poles. So there is only one. Hope you see that. So one cell at anaphase. Next is the telophase. Let us think like this. T stands for two cells. In telophase, the chromosomes are clumped together at the poles. The cell itself appears to be pulled apart and two new cells are starting to form. The second clue is the size of the newly formed cell is often small compared to other cells. Now let us see. So this one, as you see here, we can see chromosomes clumped together at two poles. The size of the cell is small compared to the size of the cell at the interface. So this is the first one. Then you can see. So this is the second one. And this is the third one. So there are three cells in telophase. Now the first stage that is the prophase. Here P stands for prepare or preparation phase for mitosis. In prophase, we have to search for the chromosomes appearing as puffy ball of threads within the nucleus. A cell in prophase has condensed chromosomal strands that fills the entire cell. As you see here, this is a cell in prophase. But the cell in interphase, the chromosomal strands are not condensed. This is a cell in interface where the individual strands are not visible and the cell is often small compared to the cell at prophase. So in this field there is only one cell in prophase. So this is a cell in prophase. Now we have the number of cells undergoing mitosis. Now it's very easy to calculate mitotic index. So first count the total number of dividing cells. So in prophase 1, metaphase 2, anaphase 1, telophase 3. So total number of dividing cells is 7. Then total number of cells in this field, it is roughly 56. So we have to count both dividing and non-dividing cells. Therefore, mitotic index is equal to Total number of dividing cells or cells that undergoes mitosis divided by total number of cells. Here it will be 7 by 56 that is 0.125. So we have to make this into percentage into 100 that is 12.5 percentage. So we need to take at least three fields and take the average of mitotic index. And it also depends on the specimens. For histology slides, average of 10 fields in high power at 400x magnification is the standard. Now let us understand the significance of mitotic index. First one is cell proliferation assessment. A high mitotic index indicates a high rate of cell division, which is often associated with growth and development. For example, mystematic region of root shows high mitotic index compared to other regions. Second is cancer prognosis. In cancer research, a high mitotic index is often correlated with 
aggressive tumor behavior and poor prognosis, thus helping in assessing the aggressiveness of tumors. And the third thing is therapeutic monitoring. Changes in mitotic index can indicate the effectiveness of cancer treatments, allowing for adjustments in therapeutic strategies based on the cellular response. Or in other words, it helps in assessing the effectiveness of medication. So by assessing the mitotic index, we can adjust the dosage of the medicine on the basis of assessment of mitotic index. So these are some of the most important significance of mitotic index. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.